Hello and welcome back to the world of no code web building. In this video, I will show you how to use builder.io from scratch, how to create, design, and publish a stunning website without writing a single line of code. So, before we start building, let's quickly understand what builder.io actually does. Builder.io is a visual, headless CMS, and drag and drop website builder. This means you can visually design pages like you would in Figma or Canva, but the content connects to your backend, framework, or e commerce platform. So, head over to builder.io and click on go to the app option. Now, if you'll already be logged in, you'll be instantly taken to your builder.io page where you can easily see the dashboard. But if you won't have an account, simply create one by clicking the sign up button and log in using your user credentials. After you do this, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Here, you will see different areas like projects, example repos, the designing section, the text bar, and some options. So, this is the dashboard. You will see your projects tab, the MCP servers tab through which you can connect to external services through remote model context protocol and the design system page where you can easily request an enterprise trial and build with your design system components. Choose asset library and you will have a place where you can upload your assets and the library where you can organize your assets. You can click on insights to see the insights of your web page you have content models and much more so what we are going to do is simply click on projects now this is the main thing that we are going to use to start our project so simply in this bar you'll have to type what kind of web page you want for example it says start designing and generating updates with ai in a new repository so you can click on auto option and choose what kind of model you want to use to generate your web page or the website so you can click on auto cloud gpt5 but currently, without any subscription plan, you only will have GPT-5 mini. So make sure you choose this and simply type in a prompt. For example, I will type in create a website for analytics. Now, when I will hit enter that says send message, it will instantly start creating this project. As you can see, it says setting up dev environment and this can take up to few minutes. Now, as you can see, it just created me this project for my analytics dashboard. And this is the visual editor. This is where the magic happens. On the left, you've got layers panel. You can see when you click on design, you have layers panel. In the center, you have your live canvas and on the right, your style and options panel. So you can drag and drop blocks, text, images, buttons, grids, and custom components. For example, if you would want to edit these elements, click on design option. Now you can easily get choose any component and you will have the option for the style, layout, margins, visibility, background, typography, and much more. So if I click on, for example, this text, that is the heading of this analytics dashboard. You can see I have a bunch of options at the right. You can see I can simply increase the font size and that will get bigger. Now, if I want to place this in the middle, I will choose center horizontally or center vertically. Now, if I would want to add shadows and effects, I'll click here and choose the opacity or I can also add effects, but I'm not going to do that. Now, if you click on options, you get the option to remove this and add something else like dashboard, but we are not going to do that. So basically you can edit any element for example purposes. Let's take this one. So this is written dashboard option at the left. I can select it. Now I can choose options and remove this dashboard text or add any kind of text that I would want. Now, if I click on a style, choose background, I can choose to fill a color for this background and choose background and fill this color. If I select this one and choose fill image, I can select any kind of image in the stock photos. I can also load from a URL or upload from my PC. As you can see, it was pretty simple. So this is the visual editor where you can edit any element on your web page. Now you can also try dragging a text block. For example, if I choose insert and drag and drop this text block here, I will add a new text block and enter some text in this. For example, in the option, I will enter new. I can choose a style and the background for fill color. I will enter white. I will make it bold and increase the font size. You can also click on your web page and choose background, choose to fill an image or a color. So as you can see, it was pretty easy. So this required no coding and no preview delays. Now to build faster, builder.io offers a pre-made section like hero banners, feature list and contact forms. Click insert, choose section and choose a layout and it will appear instantly on your page. And if you're a developer, you can also add a custom react component that your team built. Just click on insert and choose import. And you can also import of Figma elements 
or elements from a browser. Or you can also click on media and choose to embed click here now you'll have to just enter the url and that media will be embedded you can also embed a code just drag and drop this custom code option and here you'll have to choose options and enter your code in this field so this is where builder.io shines it's visual for non-devs it's structured for devs everyone works in harmony now let's make sure our design looks great on all devices click on the devices icon at the top desktop tablet or mobile so you have these three options this is desktop and this is how your website is going to look like on a desktop if you choose mobile it will show up something like this this is tablet so your website will look something like this on a tablet if you choose mobile it will look something like this so these are all the previews of all these three devices for your website make sure everything looks good and if anything looks off on any device just select that element edit it from this section click on design and you'll be able to edit it for example i'm currently editing all the elements that will be on my mobile phone so you can adjust padding font size or visibility per breakpoint for example you can hide certain images on mobile and resize your grids builder.io's responsive engine automatically keeps your layout fluid but it gives you full control when you need it remember design once and preview across devices instantly all within the editor now after this is done you can also link pages and navigation you'll have to just get back to home page navigate to content section create new pages like about contact and services then inside your header section add a navigation menu you can do this pretty easily just from here you can also ask fusion to edit changes for example if you want anything a new section or a new page you will have to just type in your query in this field so this will be where you can easily edit using the ai the most powerful tool here now, if you're working with real data like blog posts or product listing, builder.io's models make it super easy. Just navigate back and here you'll have to click on auto and choose a new model. Then choose data and name it blog post and add fields like title, images and description. Then inside your page, drag a repeater block connected to your blog post model and boom, dynamic content fills your design automatically. Now, if you want to see your projects that you previously worked on, it will be just under here. You can select any project and that will instantly start up in the editing section. Now, once your site looks good, click the publish or deploy option. So you can click on preview in a new tab and see how your website is going to look like. As you can see, this is how my website looks like. It's pretty good, neat and clean. Now, if I get back, I can click on create repo option. Now I'll have to just integrate my builder.io with GitHub by clicking on authorize builder.io integration. It just created this repository. Click on create repository. And after you do this, you'll be easily able to publish it. Just click publish on this page and choose deploy. And builder.io can host your pages or integrate with your framework if you're using Nest.js or React. Install the builder SDK, paste your API key and your pages will render dynamically on your own domain. And you can even connect Shopify, BigCommerce or your custom backend. And builder handles the API site automatically. After publishing, builder.io also lets you run ANB testing, add personalization and track conversion analytics all visually and you can create two versions of a hero banner and target each to a different audience segment no extra scripts or tools needed everything is managed directly from your dashboard and you can also click on share option and share this project with someone else and invite a team member to your space to work on your project with you you can also click on three dotted icon at the top right and download this code and you can later integrate this code with any other tools as you can see it just downloaded it now, if I go back, I can click on get free credits and upgrade my plan and get more tools, credits and features for me. And that's your full builder.io beginner tutorial. You know how to design, a structure and publish a professional website visually, fast and code free. If you found this guide helpful, hit the like, subscribe and comment what kind of site you are building with builder.io. I'd love to check it out. Thank you for watching.